Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat here on YouTube.com. And yes, I know the title of this video might as well have been The Sky is Blue, Water is Wet, and My Ex Left Me for a Fat VR Chat Furry. I, I wish that was a joke. End me. Anyways, um, it needs to be said that YouTube is the most brain-dead, incompetent company on planet Earth. And this is demonstrated on a near-daily basis. I'm tardy to the party here, but why in the world of refried, deep-fried ass cheeks did YouTube think that removing the dislike button was a good idea? They must have taken it really hard that their YouTube rewinds get dislike bombed. OOF! If you don't know, YouTube videos will now only show the number of likes a video has. Dislikes will be completely hidden. The button is still there, but you won't know how many it has. Which makes the dislike button pointless. Comments are the same way. You can like a comment and dislike it. But comments only ever show likes. Dislikes aren't shown. When was the last time you disliked a fucking comment? Has anyone ever done that? There's no point. You just like good comments. That, that's all people do. This is nothing but a negative change. Dislikes used to show a viewer whether a video was good or bad at a glance. Yes, sometimes dislike bombing happens, but generally you can tell if a video is going to be liquid shit by the dislikes. For example, if you looked at Mr. Boss for the Wins videos, they all had way more dislikes than likes. Why? Because he makes clickbaity videos that have zero point and waste your time. Now all you'll see on his channel are the likes, giving you no initial impression of how his videos are. The like and dislike system was important for the creator, too. I released a video back in the day where I defended Keemstar during the drama he had with H3H3. Wasn't a popular opinion. It got the most dislikes I've ever gotten on a video. I know that video wasn't well received because people didn't agree with me. Do I give a fuck? No. But at least I knew it wasn't well received. However, if I released a video of me vlogging my trip to Lake Titty Cock, and it got disliked out the ass, I would realize, oh, people don't really care for this kind of video, so I won't do a vlog again. Assholes. Dislikes aren't just some toxic thing people do. It tells the creator, and the viewer, if the content was worth watching. Now, the creator can still see the dislikes when they go into their analytics. However, pretty much no one is going to bother disliking videos anymore, because there's no point. YouTube seems to have knee-jerk reactions to people crying and whining about toxicity. And because YouTube is super politically correct, they'll do anything to appease these people. I don't like dislikes. They hurt my feet-fees. Oh no, not their feet-fees. Look, we got rid of dislikes. Speaking of sparing people's feelings, this is a personal gripe of mine. Why the fuck does YouTube automatically hide comments it deems as offensive? You go to check what these offensive comments are, and it says, Are you sure? I mean, your eyes may melt. They're very, very mean words. My like, gosh, YouTube, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. God. And 90% of the time, they're not even offensive. It it's just someone being slightly not nice. Most comments I see in here are just someone calling me a poopy head or saying I suck eggs. These comments get automatically hidden, and I have to go through and manually allow comments saying that my videos suck big old balls, because I don't give a shit if someone says that, free speech and all that. I wouldn't care so much if I could choose to disable this, but from what I can tell, you can't. You can't choose to just automatically allow slightly mean comments, because YouTube thinks you're going to melt if you see them. So now, people accuse me of deleting their mean comments. No, I don't. YouTube hides them, and it's annoying. Another example of YouTube's incompetence that just boils my artichoke, and this one has serious ramifications, are the community guideline strikes on videos that didn't violate YouTube's terms of service. One personal example, I have a second channel I do quirky little gaming videos on. I uploaded a video on some shitty survival MMO. It got age-restricted for nudity and sexual content. There was none of that in the video, so I tried to appeal it. YouTube got back to me confirming that the video, in fact, did have nudity and sexual content, 
and that they would not be removing the age restriction. I guess I accidentally left in a clip of me twerking and forgot about it, and it happens to the best of us. These false guideline strikes happen a lot to a lot of people. Critical had a video get struck for disturbing violent content when he reacted to a fake road rage video. The original video didn't get struck, but he did. Markiplier had a similar video reacting to it. That didn't get struck. Their system is completely random. This guy shows off his chubby pet frog. Video gets taken down for violent or graphic content. Nice. Meanwhile, YouTube allows channels that abuse animals, sexual content, car crashes, deaths, and other messed up shit. What the fuck are these ads? No problem with that kind of stuff being on their site, but I make a video of me staring at a pine cone, and I get a strike as if I uploaded a video of me putting my schlong in a man's keister. Oh wait, there is a video of that. I will say, I feel like this is your deck. This is your deck. It is. Is it really your deck? <laughs> no sexual content here. Move along. It wouldn't be so bad if YouTube, first of all, enforced these rules properly to channels actually breaking the rules. But secondly, if they had a human being review the appeals people try to make and confirm the videos don't break their terms of service. But no, they don't. They have a rowboat do it. Good luck trying to get help on Twitter. You get copy-pasted responses. Sorry to hear you're having issues. But I didn't ask! It's pretty clear that YouTube is incompetent. They constantly make decisions that just defy all logic. Like hiding dislikes. What's the fucking point of them then? Is this to censor criticism? Then just completely remove the dislike button. Poof. Oops. All likes. They go way too hard to protect people's poor fifis. Like removing the fucking leafy content cop. Rip in peace, that gem of a video. Speaking of Leafy, he got terminated with zero guideline strikes. Pretty quirky. Love that YouTube can do that, just removing the purpose of having a strike system. They can't enforce their TOS properly anyway. They punish people who are often innocent, ruining people's channels, making it so they can't upload or stream for a while for doing nothing wrong. The copyright system on YouTube is 13 layers of shitcake. Literal garbage. YouTube is just a mess of a company, ran by an absolute unit of cringe, Susan Watchkicky. This individual clearly has no idea how to run the site. The sooner that she's replaced, the better. Hell, replace her with a robot at this point. Get that weird uncanny robot, Sophie, to run the company. I'm sure she can do a better job. She's also far better at passing off as a human being. Anyways, I'm done bitching about YouTube. Site sucks, but I'm gonna keep using it anyway and uploading on it. At least until YouTube whips their shmeat out and slaps me in the face with it, giving me a lifetime ban for no goddamn reason. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one.